In this video, we are going to look at the various chemical reagents that are used in a microbiology lab and that could be given to you as a spotter in your microbiology practicals. So first, a basic concept. When staining fungi, first specimen is collected. This specimen can either be collected as in the form of skin scraping or hair follicle or a piece of nail depending on where the fungi has infested. To this specimen, 10% KOH is added. See, the specimen contains cells that are of our interest that, that contains the fungal cells and then cells that are not of our interest like the epithelial cells. What 10% KOH does is that it removes the cells that are not of our interest. It removes debris. To this, methylene blue is added. It is the stain with stains the specimen, the fungi, blue in color so that you can observe it under the microscope. Along with methylene blue, you could also give lactophenol cotton blue. Lactophenol cotton blue stains the specimen even better and you will also be able to absorb micro and macroconidia of the fungi if they are present with the help of staining by lactophenol cotton blue. Okay, now let's look at the various reagents. First, we have 10% KOH. So what did I say? First, the specimen of fungi, fungal specimen is collected. Now this fungal specimen can contain cells that is of our interest. It is the fungal cells and cells that are not of our interest like the epithelial cells. So what 10% KOS does is that it removes the debris. It removes the cells that are not of our interest and only the fungal part, only the fungal elements remain. Now, you have lactophenol cotton blue. Lactophenol cotton blue is used to stain those fungal elements that remain after the debris are eliminated by 10% KOH. So first debris are eliminated by 10% KOH. Now only remains the fungal elements. To this fungal element, you will add methylene blue and lactophenol cotton blue. Lactophenol cotton blue, it stains those fungal elements better than what methylene blue does because after staining with lactophenol cotton blue you will even be able to absorb micro and macroconidia under the microscope so what is this composed of it is composed of lactose so lactic acid phenol so phenol cotton blue so cotton blue and glycerin lactic acid it preserves the fungal structure phenol it kills living organisms that is not fungi glycerin it prevents dehydration and cotton blue, it is the dye, it stains chitin. Next, India ink, it is a type of stain. Which type of stain? Negative stain. India ink, it stains the background. However, it is unable to penetrate through the capsule of bacteria and fungi. Here, you have a bacteria or a fungi, a yeast, which has a capsule around it. Now, when you give India ink stain, it stains the background. But then this stain cannot penetrate through the capsule. As a result, the capsule appears as a clear halo around the bacteria or fungi. India ink is composed of carbon pigment in aqueous solution along with glue. For example, cryptococcus fungi appears to uh, cryptococcus fungi when stained with India ink gives clear halo around it due to the presence of capsule. Oxidase reagent is used in oxidase test. Hydrogen peroxide is used in catalyst test. Blood culture bottle is used to grow and preserve bacteria in blood within a bottle. Rapid diagnostic test kit is used to diagnose a certain disease very fast. As the name says, it is used for rapid diagnosis of a disease. For example, this test kit right here is used for the rapid diagnosis of dengue by measuring the level of IgM, IgG antibodies prepared against it in the human body. It is used for medical screening. Here you have another type of test called rapid plasma reagent or RPR test in which RPR antigen is mixed with serum. This is put on this card. And then the level of IgG, IgM antibody against the disease is measured. It is usually used for rapid testing of syphilis.